I took a machine learning course last year, but haven't done much since, so I need a quick refresher. I could go back and rewatch the old lectures, but I want to do something hands-on instead. So I'm going to build a simple linear regression model from scratch. So what exactly is linear regression? If we're given these five points, we can try to make an accurate guess for where a new point, let's say x equals 10, would be. We could take a look at the graph and, just by eyeballing, guess that the line of best fit looks like this. But we could also be off by, say, plus or minus one unit of y. So how can we determine where this new point would lie with a machine learning approach? The first thing we need to understand is the cost function. We want an objective standard to quantify just how much a given line fits the points. The way we'll do that is by subtracting our predicted y value from the actual value for each of our given points. It turns out some of these points are under our line, resulting in negative cost. The solution is to just square each term so it doesn't matter whether a point is above or below the line, just how far away it is from the line. If we slightly tweak our guess, these squares change and will give us different total costs. The last thing to do is divide by m, right? Wrong. We divide by 2m for reasons that will be clear soon enough. And that's the first thing I implemented. I wrote a simple function to compute the cost given a weight, bias, and lists of x and y values. So we have a cost function with two parameters. We can plot the weight, bias, and cost. To find the best fitting line, we just need to find the weight and bias associated with the minimum cost. This is where gradient descent comes in. Algorithmically, we can simply update the weight and bias by some factor of the gradient that we'll call alpha. But first, we need to take our original cost function and differentiate with respect to the weight and bias. And that's why we divide by 2m. Per the chain rule, the 2 in the exponent will become a coefficient of the derivative, cancelling out the 2 in the denominator. So the next function I wrote took in a list of x values, y values, a weight, and a bias, and computed the gradient for both the weight and the bias. And now the final thing to do is update the weight and bias a sufficient number of times, reducing the cost at each iteration. Choosing an appropriate learning rate is quite important because if alpha is too high, the model will diverge and cost will increase at each iteration. So I just used print statements to make sure that the cost was decreasing at each iteration until I found a learning rate that worked. At first, I looped the gradient descent until the cost was less than a certain value. I picked 10. But I later hardcoded the number of iterations for debugging. It turns out that determining convergence is actually quite tricky because, even though we have a way to find the minimum cost, we don't exactly know how much that minimum cost is, so computing the cost at each iteration doesn't seem to be a recommended approach. Back when I started, I wrote test data in the form of 100 points of the line y equals x. I later changed this to y equals 5x plus 12, but saw that the bias wasn't updating as much. At first, I thought this was because the features weren't normalized, but that was incorrect. Feature normalization only applies if the input and output values are several orders of magnitude off, which doesn't apply to y equals 5x plus 12. So that's how you do simple linear regression in Python. This approach can be generalized to predict a single output variable with multiple input variables by considering the input variables and weights as vectors. You can even do polynomial regression by squaring terms of these input variables.